Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over my Team of the Week, Week 7 predictions for tomorrow, of course. Going over them today, going for them for tomorrow. Now, guys, it happened. I finally got a haircut. I've been looking a little bushy. You guys know that. It's been, it's been rough. I, I'm, I haven't gotten a haircut since I would say two weeks before Madden 21, right? Just compare my birthday. So yeah, two weeks before Madden 21, guys. It's been a while. Needed a haircut bad, but my haircuts take like two hours to get. Like, they're very in depth. Well, I gotta get the bush down. So for me, it takes a while. So for me, it's been like, I hate going. I really do, but I, I need the one. It's about time, guys. A lot of you guys are saying I was, oh no, I was getting some weird people comparisons. Someone said I look like Mark Cable, which I don't think is a bad thing, but I just don't think I look like him. So my hair must have been looking real bushy. I've got some other ones as well. But guys, anyways, let's get into the video. Today's Poodle Squad shout out. If you want a chance to shout it out, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, and of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. And that's about it. Like the video. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got RDN Games. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you. But that's it, guys. If you need coins or anything for tomorrow's Team of the Week, for today's Most Feared Part 2, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle, 15% off. Take advantage. Now, moving on, let's get into this. So, let's start with my lower set pieces, as you guys know how this video goes. I'm going to predict some stats, go over what I think we could be seeing. So let's get it over there. Now the thing for this week, there was some big performances in the NFL, some lackluster, some big ones. So for the first one, guys, this is my lower set. Now the lower set guys are the ones that get those team of the week collectibles that, you know, give you like a power up increase. My first guy I'm going with here is going to be DJ Moore. Now DJ Moore is basically an 80 overall. I see him getting like an 85 overall, so maybe gets up to an 86. Now DJ Moore is pretty fast. So if he gets an 85, I think powered up and chemmed up, his speed gets up to probably 90. Uh, 90 with, you know, below average route running. Average catch, nothing too crazy there. But of course, he is going to be just a piece. You know, he's nothing crazy. Next, a guy that I think can get a plus one is going to be Devontae Adams. Now, Devontae Adams had a huge week, over 100 yards, I think two touchdowns. Had one of the better fantasy weeks as well. And Devontae Adams is due for a card. It's been a while. He's been hurt, of course, though. Now, Devontae Adams has an 89 overall. And that's saying a lot, right? Like when I say he's due for a card, like he even had that card, and I still think he's due for a card. That's how good he's been. Like, besides being hurt, he's been that good. So you can imagine, you probably get a plus two, right? His power up and then his power up plus one. So we're probably looking at a 91 overall here. So with a 91 overall, we probably end up with like an 87, 88, no, 88 speed. 88 speed. He ends up hitting the medium route running threshold and hits the catching threshold as well. Still think the card's lackluster. Still don't think he's a meta card. Still don't think you can use him, but still exciting to see it. Next guy had a great week as well. Five touchdowns. Brady and Gronk looked real last week. Nice to see it, of course. Tom Brady, I think, gets another Team of the Week card here. Well, no, oh, Team of the Week power up on top of this one that he already had. So, remember, that's a plus two on his thing. Now, I don't think he gets a low piece, though. I think he gets a high piece. I think he gets, like, an 88, 89 overall piece, which does get his power up to an 89. So, at an 89 overall, Brady's probably looking better. 89 overall, Brady's power, uh, third power is probably, like, an 87 or 88. Probably 87. His uh, medium, deep, and short probably are all mid to high 80s. And, I mean, the car's not looking great again. None of these cards are going to be usable, in my opinion. Um, next guy, I don't know how good this one's gonna look, but I'm just gonna say it out there. I'm not gonna look at that. Jamar Taylor for um he's he's looking pretty good as well. He had a pick, he did pretty well. I don't know what his cards gonna look like. I'm not even gonna predict that one. Next we got Jerry Hughes. Now again, another guy that I don't think's you know be anything crazy for Madden. Probably gets a low piece as well. Had a pretty good week. Had a fumble and a pick. Now where's now where's Jerry Hughes on here? Oh Jerry, okay, he's a gold card. Probably ends up with a low team of the week, nothing crazy. Speed rusher. Probably ends up with a, you know, a mid-80 finesse move, mid-80 block shit as well. Nothing crazy. And finally, this card actually could be really good. My last set piece that we do have is going to be Devin White. Now, Devin White could be really good. He's right there with, like, the Devin Bush territory in terms of, like, user cards. You know, shout out to Devin Bush. The season's over. You know, kind of sucks. But hopefully a good recovery for him. You know, he was he was a great, great in Madden as well. Not to say that that's what we care about here. But you guys understand what I'm trying to say there. Devin White. Now, Devin White only is 77 overall. But he's fast. If we get even a Devin White, like, if we just get, like, an 84, 85, let's say an 84 overall. 84 overall, Devin White maybe has, like, an 89 speed, like, 89, 90 speed. Like, if we can get him at an 89, 90 speed with an above 80 hit power, guys, he could be good. Like, he could be a really good user, a really good guy. He would be like Patrick Queen. Obviously, Patrick Queen's free, but not for everyone. So now, guys, let's get to the Legend Heroes. And these are, I'm excited to talk about them this week. So... Legend Heroes, let's go up here. Let's compare it to some of the other Team of the Week. You know, I like to do it like that. So for the Legend Heroes this week, I expect some pretty good ones. Now, again, you know how this goes. You never really know with EA, but 
For my first one on defense, I'm going with D'Angelo Hall. Now, D'Angelo Hall, D'Angelo Hall had a great week. He had four interceptions and a pick six. I mean, that's one of the best weeks, defensive weeks you'll probably have. Um, he's looking great. The card's going to be good. Now, D'Angelo Hall card's not going to be the fastest. I mean, it depends what they give him, right? I've seen slower D'Angelo Hall cards. I've seen faster ones. I say he probably gets a 91, 92 speed plus a power up, hopefully. So that leaves him at around a 90, like I said, 91, 92 speed. Maybe for a lucky 93, but it probably 91, 92. And he probably ends up a great zone. He probably ends up being threshold zone to man, regardless of maxed out lockdown, because everyone's at that point already. And he probably ends up like, he's going to be an all-around, well-rounded corner. Um, if you guys remember D'Angelo Hall, I'm pretty sure he was a cornerback that got shook by DeAndre Hopkins later in his career at that practice session. I think he like tore his ACL too. You know, kind of sucks to see, but again, 2010, four picks, one pick six. Next, guys, this one's exciting for me. I'm really excited for this one. Priest Holmes. I feel like we could potentially get a Priest Holmes for the Chiefs. Now, I don't know how good he'll be. I don't know how they're going to kill him because, you know, they're going to kill his speed somehow. I think Priest Holmes would be kind of like Sean Alexander, but I'm going to give him a 90 speed on Priest Holmes. 90 speed. I'm giving him a 91 trucking, 91 break tackle, and maybe if we're lucky, a good enough excel and agility as well. He probably looks very, very similar to today's uh, Jim Brown. Probably going to look something similar to that. Maybe, I don't think it'll be that fast. I mean, his 40 yard dash time in real life wasn't that great. It was like a 4.7. Um, I don't know if that was unofficial or whatever, but again, he wasn't the fastest back, but he had some crazy seasons. He had some great seasons. This week specifically, he had like 140 yards, I think three or four touchdowns and like another 50 receiving yards. So he had almost 200 combined yards, two to four touchdowns. And Priest Holmes is a guy we haven't seen in Madden in quite a while. So I would like to see him. I think that'd be fun. Now for this week's current hero, current hero. We got to go with Tyler Lockett, right? Tyler Lockett is going to be kind of like a faster version of Odell. So Tyler Lockett probably, I mean, I have to imagine Tyler Lockett gets a 90, 93, 90. Okay, so bare minimum, he's getting 92 speed. Plus power up 93. Best case scenario, he gets a 93. Plus power up 94. Tyler Lockett's that fast. But Tyler Lockett's been, here's the thing, earlier in his career, Tyler Lockett was a speed only guy, right? Like that's how he was viewed in the league, like a deep burner. He either makes a good play or he doesn't. But as of lately, like as we've gotten more into his career, He's become a pretty good route runner. He's become a pretty good catcher. He's become an all down, like, you know, an all purpose wide receiver. So, will EA be biased and only give, because EA does that, like, be biased and only give him the speed, but he definitely deserves more. He definitely deserves, like, an Odell S card, probably like a 93 speed, like I said. He probably ends up with, like, mid, you know, like, mid 80s catching, but I'm hoping they get it. They get him some deep route running threshold and maybe even a medium. He's a pretty decent route runner, you know, he's not horrible. He's getting the job done. But Tyler Lockett had a great weekend, like, he had 200 yards and three touchdowns, all right? And one of them was like a 40-yarder, like a, a burner. He had a great week. Now, he did steal from my, my guy Metcalf, which is kind of suck, but I'll let him have it. Tyler Lockett deserves those days. Metcalf and going off. But then again, so is Tyler Lockett, so, you know, I don't feel too bad. Now, th so is my hero. So, guys, for the lower set, guys, we got DJ Moore, Devontae Adams, Jamar Taylor, Jerry Hughes, and Devin White. For the legend heroes, we got D'Angelo Hall, Week 7, 2010, and then Priest Holmes, Week 7, 2004, or 2002. They were both great weeks. And then for the current here, we got Tyler Lockett week seven. And now, guys, for the LTD current. For the LTD current, guys, this one, now this one's a little bit different here. The LTD current, what I expect is going to be a Von Miller. Now, Von Miller could be really, really, really good. Now, a good comparison. Now, I know logic says we're not going to get back to back, you know, LTD outside linebackers. But here's the thing Von Miller and Khalil Mack usually go hand in hand. Von Miller is usually a faster version, though. So, we're going to match something similar. So, if we get a Von Miller right now, he didn't look so similar to this card, except I think Von Miller would have, oh, and by the way, if you want to know stats, he had two forced fumbles, a, four, a fumble recovery, two sacks, four quarterback hits in week seven, and there was multiple years that he was great, and it wasn't just this one, but the week that one week was great. Now, the thing with Von Miller is he'll probably flip-flop the power move here, right? So Von Miller probably ends up with like a 92 finesse move and like an 86 power move, probably ends up with around a 90 block share, but I think Von Miller gets an 86 speed. So you're looking at a, a faster, better finesse version of Khalil Mack. Probably very similar, probably a little less strong, but again, going to be super, super solid. And if, again, if he's faster than Mac with a better finesse, I think he's better than Mac, right? They both be LTDs though, so either way, they both can be very hard to get. Both uh, borderline unobtainable. Well, Khalil Mac is unobtainable. I mean, in past LTDs have always been unobtainable, but as of recently, I've been too bad. Be careful what LTDs you buy, because again, they could get Redux in the very near uh, series update in the beginning of November. So just be careful with that. But besides that, guys, super exciting stuff. I'm definitely excited for this. So again, Von Miller. Gonna be awesome. Tyler Lockett would be awesome. Priest Holmes would be awesome. So would Angela Hall. I think we can get all bangers here. We'll check our predictions, of course, tomorrow. Now I may be missing tomorrow's morning video, which does kind of suck. I have some. I have like a business meeting to go to tomorrow morning. So if I'm not around in the morning, you guys know what happened. I was abducted, and I'm, I won't be here. I'm gonna be out. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully I'm back in time. It's at 9:30 though. I don't think I'll be back in time. So I'll probably cut to another video afterwards. Kind of sucks. I'm missing that one, but 
you guys know the deal. You know, it's one of the better videos of the week, too. But sorry for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you want a chance to be shouted out uh, the next Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the notification bell, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, if you need coins, head over to my reserve down below. Link will be below in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Use the Poodle 15% off. I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.